All right, so this is I Forgot Episode Season 2. Welcome. That's okay. All right, Episode 3. Yeah, Wood, Iron, and Steel. I wish they added this helmet for Warlord. It looks really cool. I don't think anything can make me play Warlord, though. I mean, oh, unless he got a complete... I, 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 I look at the character, I'm bored. Hate yeah. I, 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 I hate most of the Viking faction, other than, like... Uh... Uh, I guess Raider's okay, but Highlander's Raider, cool, I guess. Shaman, yeah. the new hero. Oh, yeah, the new hero. And, uh, Yorm. Yeah. So you don't hate most of the Viking <laughs> I lied. Oh, you can't do double heavy? Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, check he, had that. Even he had even less than his kit back then. Oh my god, I don't know how anybody played this guy. Ledge. Oh, his crushing counters weren't even unblockable. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what we do. We figure out what was wrong with For Honor back then. <laughs> and see how they fixed it. <laughs> Wow, and he he lost so much stamina from being a, that was even that long ago. Whenever you lost stamina from going to your stance. <coughs> Hold of out me. I want to make killing animations. Yeah. Yeah. I love how literally nobody in this game can swim. It's very very realistic. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's funny. Even the pirate, the person that sails ships, can't swim. It's fine, they ate a double fruit. Oh, yeah, my bad. No wonder why they can use guns in this Yeah, they ate the gun gun swords. fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Only person <laughs> yeah, access exactly. guns. Which is kind of weird, because technically their entire crew has access to guns, but I mean, uh... there, there, there was a big, there was a big, like, sale. Yeah, sale for the specific fruit. That's how double fruits work. Mm -hmm. There was like there, there was like that one specific tree. It had like multiple of the of the fruits. Honestly, I didn't even it make exactly it far enough, enough in the show to know like the, the think, different types they... of devil fruits meant. I don't, I don't even know what like a logia type is. Like, it's crazy because I made it to episode four hundred. I feel like by that point, it should explain to you. The different types of devil yes, fruits, but, they're explaining others, really but it refuses to. I mean, it's mentioned a lot, but it's just never explained. It's really weird. I I think it's explained in like the further episodes. Yeah, but that's like past episode four hundred. Whenever it whenever it gets explained, is kind of ridiculous. Ah, oh. I am turning the wheel, son. Yep. The Wilson. You okay. Then you gonna, you gonna come over here? Oh my god. You need me over there? Well, uh, it's like the next part of the game. I would expect you to want to see it. That I was you shooting know. people. Is four on is my best, my favorite FPS game. For real. Oh, those are teammates. To the right. Yes, I was just. Ah, my ballista. I do like Bang. how they added co-op. It's nice. How far into the game did they add it? I think it was day one. Same with story mode. The story mode was in it day one too. Hmm. Man, but this is a lot more fun in this game. I don't. I barely remember this. <laughs> yeah, the Jeez. sensitivity is much faster than the reload speed. It'd be kind of broken if it was as fast in the regular game though. Huh. There we go. I just want to run in there and start slaughtering those guys. Oh. Bro thinks he's him. You realize you're fighting Warlord oh, on yes. a bridge, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. 
I was like, bro, we are on a bridge. That is that is not what you uh that's not your ideal situation. Oh wow, this is such a hard fight. I'm having such a hard time pressing square two times. You are stay Oh, there's spikes. Okay. Unnecessary. Yay. And now we take the food. The potato. Potato. Oh yeah, this is what makes them attack the samurai. Because they see what, how much resources they have. Oh yeah. They find yep. all the samurai gear. Washing up all summer long. Full of this chunk. That's such a cool design for a helmet. I've never really thought about it before. The samurai! They're weak. We outnumber them ten to one. And they've had a good year! Is that iron? Steel. Oh. <laughs> like the primary <laughs> currency of this game. I'm retarded. <laughs> Oh, ha, 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 ha. It was time for <laughs> We will be rich! Potato! Potatoes. Go. So, we're doing a little bit different this time. The last few episodes I just haven't gotten enough footage from, and they've just been five minutes long. So what we're going to start doing now is we're going to start doing two per episode. That way we can also get finished with the series faster. So, that's, that's our current plan. Let's go! Up the beach. I remember, Ugh, Normandy beach. I remember I got a glitch on this level where I tackled Shigoki off of a huge cliff and he spaghettified everywhere. It was really funny. <laughs> I think it's uh, one of my older videos, actually. That type of glitch. Make For Honor the show. Or For Honor the movie. <laughs> That'd actually be so fire. War Manga would be a like Apollyon would be an amazing villain. Dude, you know how much that would sell though. Yeah, like uh, Apollyon would be a great villain. Everything. It would just be weird because I think you would like have to kind of follow War Lord Warden, which is the first warden that we play I as prefer, the whole time. I prefer that. Like uh, they but, can they can uh, like show a. Uh, Vikings and Samurai, but like I prefer like most of it to be on Warden. Yeah, so I mean, they would probably what they would do is the first like the first half of the movie would be the whole night campaign, right? And then somehow he would like go and like talk to the Vikings. He would end up in all the situations in the story mode that we're currently in. So like somehow he would be part of the siege, right? And then yeah. maybe after this siege happened. They would show like Raider fighting uh, Tozen or whatever his name is at the end of this, and then um, after that, you see the samurai, right? And of course, I think what they what they should do is they should make War Lord Warden, the Raider, and the prison or prisoner Orochi all team up to fight Apollyon at the end. Yeah. And so, obviously, like, this raider's character would be fleshed out, too, but also the prisoner Orochi would be, too. It would just be kind of weird having three main characters, because it, it would separate it in three parts, so I don't really know how they would do it. Right. Yeah, but that's why I think it would be structured better as a TV show, because you could do, like, three episodes for the warden, three episodes for the raider, and then three episodes for the samurai. Yeah, that, that, I, I think that would stretch out really well. Because as a movie, it would just be really jarring to have th three different stories in the same movie. Because doing three movies is a little unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, a, a For Honor show would be fun though. I don't so think anybody fun. wants a For Honor cinematic universe. <laughs> I mean, I do, For but Honor like. Is in the making, guys. Oh man. Hopefully they add dismembering mean and for honor too. Definitely coming out next year for sure. Mm -hmm. Just like Titanfall 3. Well, Titanfall 3 is getting announced later today, so. I, I agree. Because of the 20th anniversary of Titanfall 1. I mean, I mean not 20th. Jesus, 10th. 10th. <laughs> oh my God. 
It's crazy. 2014. Oh, man. I really like That's how they have a lot of war-type technology. Because it makes sense. For Honor is technically, like, in the future, lore-wise. And so it's the same with the... Um, what's it called? Well, with, like, the bridges. Sick. And the night campaign. It just makes sense how they have, like, really advanced technology whenever it comes to war, but basically nothing yeah. else. Why weren't they just doing that in the first place? They, fi they finally realized. Oh my god. Oh shoot. I <laughs> forgot about that. This. Holy. I'm glad that PK is getting buffs. You know? But it's just mm -hmm. like, it sucks. I, they, they teased. That they're trying to do something else with her. But. Yeah. It's just really unfortunate. Because. She sucks. <laughs> she needs something right now. <laughs> not. In she six does. months. I uh. I want like a Warden rework sometime. Because I really enjoy well, Warden a lot. Did you watch the trailer? There's a. There's a new move that they showed off in the trailer. For a Warden. Oh. I have not seen the trailer. <laughs> I'm going to take a peek at that. Wow, that's after insane. This. You can call yourself a For Honor fan too. I've sent it to our group chat like six times. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Fake friend. <sighs> Back when our lights did 16 damage. Of course, ours do like four because we're in quote unquote realistic, but let's be honest here, this is not realistic. This is hard. It's extreme yeah. mode. And then there's freaking that one update where the damage was like completely the nerfed. CCU. Something like that, I think. Yeah, it's the core combat update. That is the name of it. And then, uh, freaking. Hmm. Oh, one of my most favorite events ever was the Assassin's Creed event. I love that. I played that game a lot. Yeah, I actually have a video. Where I hit Ezio through a wall whenever I was playing Larbringer, it's really funny. I think the title was like, Ezio must be really confused right now. It's crazy, there's also like, the main character from Prince of Persia is also in this game, like... <laughs> <laughs> and so is the friggin' Trapper Russia. from DBD, like... Oh yeah, that was sick. The, the, like the, the DVD like uh, collab, like the executions were really cool. Every, uh, like, they think, always pop cool. off with Halloween events for some reason. I mean, every yeah. single year. <laughs> the Halloween events are just more important than literally anything else. Like I know it's every single time there's like an amazing PVE event every year. Like if they put that much effort into literally anything else, <laughs> they could do <laughs> anything, bro. They could actually make genuine changes to the actual game. I mean, maybe they could bring back the Star Wars event, a reference to your most your famous video that you have. Yes, my most famous video. It actually gets more views than the videos I actively upload. It's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> per week, it gets the most views. It's insane. It sucks uh, it doesn't even work anymore, I'm which sad. is funny, which means that somebody oh, from it? the For Honor team saw my video. <laughs> No way. And they changed well, uh, it. Like, if, if, you, if, uh, if more people saw that, then... Well, like, how you discovered it from a video before that you saw, right? It, it was from a Reddit post. Oh. Yeah, I tagged the guy from Reddit at the very end of the video. Yeah, they probably, like, um... Somebody probably saw it. They wanted to make their own video also, like, to share the word. No, like, no, because that was whenever I was following every single For Honor creator, which I don't really do anymore. I, I really need to get back to watching For Honor content. But, like, literally nobody else mentioned it. Because they actually need to keep a good reputation with the game and the game company. Like, they can still criticize it, but they can't, like, talk about exploits or anything like that. Because... Well, that, that is an exploit, is it? I mean, technically it is. It's not intended. Oh, that's true, yeah. And so, because they get invited to all these events and stuff, so, like, they have, like, some sort of deal, you know? Like, Freeze, Havoc, all of them. Mm -hmm. One of my most favorite things, like, I heard about um, that type of situation is that, um, if anybody knows, I don't know if you do, but the Vanoss crew, like, Vanoz, Nogla, Terrorizer, Face I Do Work, Wildcat, my most favorite group, love watching them. 
them back then, they played a tons of tons of like Black Ops 2 and like Black Ops Black Ops. And one of the things that happened like a lot was that they discovered glitches like a ton. And apparently they uh one of them met up with a old dev or something like that and they talked uh uh they talked and he found out that when they would post a video about a glitch they would have the dev team would have to go to work like quickly and get it fixed immediately every time that's funny and it happened that it happened a lot <laughs> so <laughs> they probably got like blacklisted or something like that <laughs> yeah i mean honestly they probably like liked that they would do stuff like that because it would show them all these glitches basically free play yeah. testers you know because let's <laughs> exactly. be honest i don't think any game company wants to pay money for game testers i mean one of the funniest things about it is that like wildcat one of the members uh i think has like seven million eight million subs he's uh he's literally a call of duty like partner That's gonna he's be been me like in the call of duty ad and stuff <laughs> it's very funny Realistically, my goal is just to get to 1,000, and then I can like actually start justifying spending money to upgrade my setup and stuff like that, and start making better and more consistent videos. Because right now, it's like I want to put all this effort into my content, but it's just I I just I can't because of what I'm limited to. Oh, whenever you get 500 um, subscribers, that subscribers you're able to have like a join here like a membership and i don't know who's gonna subscribe to a membership but i'm gonna make one that's like 50 cents and one dollar i'll do it for you <laughs> yeah that's what's up because it really advertises my main videos really well but and i also still like like making them they're just fun little content side things but you know I'm mainly going for watch Dark hours heavy. right now. I mean, obviously subscribers because if I get finally 1, we're there. <laughs> yeah, that guy loved pressing Y, or I guess triangle <laughs> for us. Gosh, that's crazy. That took a while. I don't mind it. Oh, this map is beautiful. Yeah, we got to talk about stuff. Yeah, Yo, fun. what if they just like make this a Dominion map? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> why, are you, why are we converting? Really why are we converting Citadel? We have all this right here. Well, it's because Citadel is the greatest map ever. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. All right. One of the greatest maps ever. I guess. Is it? See ya.